This episode of ETC is brought to you by iZombie, the new genre-bending Zomcom from the brains behind Veronica Mars. Check out the series premiere Tuesday at 9, 8 central on The CW. What's up, guys? It is Saturday. You know what time it is. Take down your pants, sit on the toilet, and watch this video. No, we're using that. Just go. <laughs> oh, yeah, this uh, news dump sure is a leaky one Ew. today. <laughs> Sorry about that. So last weekend, for the second time in just a couple months, a top-secret trailer for Batman v Superman supposedly found its way onto 4chan of all places before it was quickly taken down. Yeah, if you recall, back in December, a trailer supposedly showed up on 4chan that showed Batman being really skeptical about whether the arrival of Superman was a good thing or a bad thing, given that Metropolis was pretty much wiped off the map in the process of him saving the day. Yeah, thanks, Kryptonians. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, so this new leaked one supposedly gives away a lot more. In a 4chan comment posted after the fact, a 4chan user said, for those who didn't see the BVS trailer on slash TV slash, you missed a lot. The new BVS trailer was a rehash of the last one with Batman narrating the entire time. However, the new one had some snippets of Aquaman, Flash, and Cyborg. Only Aquaman was in costume though. Ezra Miller and Cyborg are just wearing civilian clothes. So I mean, I, I, I just never know what to believe when things like this happen. 4chan loves a good troll more than anyone else, so I wouldn't be the least bit shocked if both of the supposed leaks were just a bunch of 4chan users getting together to troll the entertainment media. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't you be win. the first time, yeah. definitely not the last. But yeah. on the other hand though, if this is all just trollage, it's pretty well executed. Yeah. And they could have said, that the trailer had any number of crazy reveals and spoilers, but the general description sounds pretty plausible for how superhero movie teasers work these days. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter, because regardless of whether 4chan saw it or not, the rest of us didn't. And uh, even if the trailer was real, it's long gone by now. <laughs> As it stands, we still have no idea when we will get to see any actual footage. Probably Comic-Con? You would hope. It's like so far away. But it's so close. I guess. Whatever. But hey, <laughs> we said this dump would be leaky, and uh, it is, so yep. let's move on to the next one. Although this isn't really a leak, except in a sort of old school, no shit sense. Yeah. Uh, earlier this week, Disney gave us a new trailer for Tomorrowland, and then went ahead and gave Japan a way more revealing trailer that was totally different than the one they gave us. Oh, the Americans will never see this. It's yeah. in Japanese. <laughs> Uh, it starts off with a whole section of little boy George Clooney getting kidnapped off to Tomorrowland uh, while riding the It's a Small World ride at Disneyland in the 60s. It gives us a look at Keegan-Michael Key from Key and Peele's role, and it seems to propose that every smart person ever, from Einstein to Edison to Walt Disney himself, was actually sent from Tomorrowland to help our lame non-Tomorrowland world. Yeah, I don't know why Disney decided to make two completely different trailers that give different things away about the plot, but it's 2015, and of course it was like minutes yeah. before the Japanese trailer made it onto the internet for everyone to see. Yeah. Uh, though for some reason the only way to watch it right now is on Daily Motion or through an embedded player. because like Bob Iger's like, what's Daily Motion? Ah, don't worry about it. Yeah. But what we do know is that although this movie is in fact just a giant advertisement for Disneyland, yeah. it does look really good. And with Brad Bird directing it, it should at least be fun and fantastical. It's like Inception for kids. Yeah, basically. Basically, how you can describe I was watching it. it, I was like, oh, it's just like Inception. Wrong! <laughs> It is written by Damon Lindelof, though, yeah. so I, hopefully he doesn't fuck up a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. He's proving himself just totally incompetent. Yeah. It'll, it'll be fine. But uh, while Disney going through their existing intellectual property and deciding to make a movie based on a land at their theme parks is a little weird, uh, Disney deciding to make a live-action remake of 1941's Dumbo, directed by Tim Burton, might be a lot weirder. Yeah, we've had lots of conversations about <laughs> this this week. Uh, the guy who made Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands is going to make a live-action version of Disney's classic story of an abused circus elephant who learns to use his big ears to fly with the help from a bunch of crows who are a little uncomfortable to watch these days. Yeah, let's see a little clip of that. Boy, them city folks is show in for a surprise. So, there you go. I mean, we already covered the shit out of the old Dumbo in our History of Racist Cartoons video from a while back. If you really want to see a couple white guilt liberal douchebags go all social justice warrior all over this. Yeah, go watch that. We'll put it right here. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, I, I doubt Tim Burton's actually gonna do a faithful adaptation complete with an all-black jive-talking group of crows played by Kevin Hart, Ron Funches, Craig Robinson, and Hannibal Burris. though I would definitely, I would, yeah, that would be great. I'd watch the shit out of that, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, let's assume none of the racial stuff comes into play. It's still just a story about circus animals, which aren't exactly seen the same way that they were over 70 years ago. I mean, last year's documentary Blackfish kind of fucked over SeaWorld once people realized how shitty it is to be a massive intelligent whale trapped in a tiny tank. And even Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey 
Piccadilly Circus, the last major organization to do animal circus bullshit, is planning on no longer using elephants by 2018 after years of protests. Yeah, even PETA, who yeah. usually inhabits the militant batshit insane quadrant of the animal rights world, had a pretty reasonable response to the movie's announcement saying, we're hopeful that in your adaptation of Dumbo, the young elephant and his mother can have a truly happy ending by living out their lives at a sanctuary instead of continuing to be imprisoned and abused in the entertainment industry. Yeah, but this is all in the very early stages still, and who knows, Tim Burton may very well be able to adapt the Dumbo story into something with more modern sensibilities. Yeah. I mean, it at least looks pretty likely that the elephants in the movie will be mostly CGI, but regardless of the plot, we probably won't have to worry about actual animals being exploited this time around, even though they weren't in the first one, it was just animated. It could go well. I mean, Tim Burton makes, like, circus stuff is in a lot of his movies. Big Fish is great. Yeah. Uh, so, I, it, yeah. Who knows? But anyway, if animal rights stuff doesn't get you depressed, maybe young, extremely talented people getting hooked on heroin and shooting themselves in the head will. Yeah. Because there's a new trailer for HBO's upcoming Kurt Cobain documentary, Montage of Heck, and it looks like a real emotional roller coaster. Yeah. yeah, Montage of Heck is the first authorized biographical documentary about the Nirvana frontman, and it looks fantastic. It's already gotten great early reviews at the festivals. Uh, the filmmakers not only got access to a ton of unseen home video footage, but it looks like animation will play a huge part in the storytelling. Yeah, uh, Cobain loved to draw and paint, and many of his original pieces are like really beautifully brought to life and movement, and there's a bunch of original animation of the many parts of Cobain's story that there isn't any footage of, like his teenage years and stuff. Yeah, Montage of Heck airs on HBO May 4th, and between this and the Scientology doc Going Clear, which comes out later this month, HBO's documentary game looks to be really on point recently. And on fleek as well. Yeah, on fleek. <laughs> but on a lighter note, uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul creator Vince Gilligan wants you to stop throwing fucking pizzas on Walter White's roof. Yep. Gilligan stopped by the official Better Call Saul Insider podcast and implored fans to cut that shit out, because it's not actually Heisenberg's house, you dingus. Yeah, that house actually belongs to a really nice lady who we actually met and interviewed for a bit when we took a road trip to Albuquerque and stopped by the house. Look at her! Do you really want to make her climb a ladder to retrieve the pizza you just wasted so you could t do this totally unoriginal Instagram picture? Yeah. Ugh. Stop it. But hey, if you're not going to listen to Vince Gilligan and you're not going to listen to us, at least listen to Jonathan Banks, aka Mike Ehrmantraut, aka the scariest old man ever. Yeah. On that same podcast, he chimed in to say that he would personally, quote, hunt down whoever throws a pizza on the nice lady's roof. So, pizza tossers, you done goofed. Mike is going to put you in a barrel of acid. <laughs> But right, let's close out this leaky dump with some videos. First up, our buds, Steven Larson, who are on the podcast that we shot. It's going to be going up tomorrow, so make sure to watch that. Uh, they aren't doing 10 for the win anymore. But as of last weekend, they're back on Machinima's main channel doing a weekly gaming podcast that you should definitely check out. Yeah, and uh, 10 for the win does live on, yep. albeit under a different name, over on Steven Larson's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Steven Larson. Uh, their new show is called List Shock, and if you missed 10 for the win, well, this is pretty much exactly the same thing. Yeah, their first List Shock is top 10 glitchiest games, and it's hilarious. There's something about seeing video game characters' body parts contorting in unnatural ways that's always funny, even when you realize you've just dropped 60 bucks on something that's clearly not finished. Yeah, anyway, uh, do us a solid and go support those dudes, because they make some of the best content on YouTube. We love them. Yep. And also, uh, yeah, check out the podcast on Sunday. Uh, it's honestly probably my favorite one. We've it was ever great. Done. I had a blast. Uh, so yeah, check it out when it drops tomorrow. And finally, here's a video we know Steven Larson would love because it's a guy doing classic pro wrestling moves on girls into a swimming pool. All with commentary by Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler, the voices of the WWE for years and years. Oh I, my God! I love these videos. Pick oh, him! Oh, she, she dead! She dead! Stop the fight! It's, it's great. And uh, finding that video led us to another video by the same guy, Joe Weller, where he does WWE finishing moves on his friends in public places. It's just amazing. Yeah. It's just like walking along, he just comes up and does a stone cold stunner, and then a referee pops out of nowhere and counts them out, it's, oh, it's, it's so amazing. good. Uh, but check out some of the content that we did this week. We have our gaming news show, Tugs, the Totally Uninformed Gaming Show. And then we also have, uh, what should we be, Weekly Weird or Tech Tuesday here? Weekly Weird? Uh, weekly Weird. Weekly Weird, uh, tell me about Weekly Weird, Elliot. Uh, let's see, drugs were legal in Ireland for like two days. Yeah. So if you live in Ireland, and then there's, pu you. there's pussy yogurt in that as well. <laughs> oh yeah, pussy yogurt. Uh, and then check out last week's podcast with Brett and Shippy. And then you know, have a great weekend, guys. Yeah. Enjoy your days off. Oh yeah. By, by the way, we saw the the uh, rough cut of the trailer for AFK, and it looks great. All the suffering is gonna pay off. Yeah. Not for us personally, but for you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.